Hello everyone, we are here playing as Smoke, up against Palana. Uh, this is not the internet famous deck that I've been playing for the last little while. It's a new variant, kind of similar in ways, but trying out Baba Yaga from Martial Law. A new AI breaker that gains the paid abilities of anything that you host on it. So the breaker suite I'm trying out today is Inti, Houdini and Fairy, which I think is pretty decent. Now, they kept their hand. Left R&D wide open. Curious. So what I found so far is that everything but um, Babiaga shows up early. As you can see, we have Houdini and Inti. So, you know, we're almost there. And I really don't want to... I really don't want to have to install Babiaga the hard way or be a self-modifying code. I keep toing and froing on how to use influence. Um, stim hack seems like it might be a good idea. I do have modded in this deck, so I mean, if you if you find it early enough and you find your combo pieces in the right order, you are pretty set. But if you don't, as you can see here, you're drawing the hard way. Then eventually you might have to go. Fine, I'll pay whatever amount to install everything, and that's just heartbreaking. A five and Fabiaga are sweet is pretty cheap. Like Indian fairy, install for free. Uh, Houdini makes everything a lot more efficient. As you can see, you boost the strength of Babiaga by 4, and it stays for the remainder of the run, um, using your stealth credits. So, it's pretty decent. Uh, their hand is pretty good. I would like to be able to get in there soon. Jackson will allow them to tidy things up. But this stands in our way, and unfortunately this deck is quite slow to set up sometimes. Uh, but we can get our bets down, and get 5 click turns from the next turn. Now, Merker, it's not as efficient as playing in the Internet Famous deck with Switchblade, because everything that you're going to boost needs two. Uh, well, Fairy, it's one of the latter ones that you'll, that you'll actually get your hands on. Uh, Swordsman is actually going to be quite useful for them as well, because it means that we'll have to go Plan B, which is Mongoose. So that's not ideal for us. Um, we can, of course, install Fairy as well, and use it kind of as a longer term thing, uh, but Mongoose will have to be our Sentry Breaker of Swordsman. So, obviously going to Dirty Laundry into Archives, but really want to draw just to get some good stuff. Okay, now R&D is the way to go. But if we can find other pieces soon, we have Clone Chips early. And that's influence that I'm not sure about as well. I have it for SMC, obviously. Um, <laughs> that's the right call or not, I'm not entirely sure. So we have modded. We are just looking for other bits and pieces. No RDIs either, so there's only so much pressure we can put on. <laughs> but maybe we'll get lucky. Nope, Cortex Lock, right. So <laughs> uh, we can't mod it anything out, so I think we're just going to... Install a clone chip, pitch the astrolabe, and I think we pitch the other clone chip because we pretty much have the suite ready to go. Um, do we run archives? Or do we just take? I think we just take a credit. We'll have five clicks next turn, so you know we have plenty of options. Vision's good. Probably the caprice. Um, so, where do we want this? We know they have ice, so this could be short-lived if we put it on R&D. Um, <coughs> worth trying. We'll get four clicks out of it, so uh, we can trash that. We can get ones like this, which will... Restructure. We need to five click turns forever. Um, we'll just go ahead and a little bit, perhaps. Okay, if we can find Babiaga, if we can find an SMC as well, just so we can get, like, Fairy. Installs. Nisei, yeah, probably gonna come out here. Or are they going f straight for the future? Perfect. Seems like a. Risky play. 
There's SMC. So we can go the really hard way. I'm not all that fond of, but might have to do. Let's take a peek at R&D. Uh, we will trash Caprice. And we can run again. Trashing. Mm, I don't really want to trash anything. Now the modded might have to go. Um, or we can just get Baba Yaga out. And... Modded a Houdini. Oh, that's also awful. No, let's just do the setup turn. I'm gonna give up this agenda. Hopefully, not these days. So, we really need to find some things. That's pretty good. Okay. So, modded RDI it is. And Run the good old fashioned way. <laughs> Doubt they would need to token us for a dirty laundry run. But you never know. We will trash the ash because they have barrels of money. So do we. And we will get rid of Batty. <laughs> just in case. We'll never be too sure. So. Okay. I well, was wondering if they might. Enigma. Cobra. <laughs> Still been seeing plenty of sentries. Which century is this? <sighs> now one of the fun things about Baba Yaga as well is that Mongoose loses that restriction of only breaking one ice, which is pretty nice. There it is. So we don't have to pay a fortune for it. But I would obviously prefer not to pay so much for it. If I could get a modded... Huh, Trashing Swordsman. Well, that's uh, perfect for us. Um, yeah, might as well go archives again for a little bit more money. So 27 credits. Should put us in a pretty good position. Except now they are just going to blitz us. Well, we have five clicks, so time to... See what we can do. We gotta force the side game at the very least. And apparently it's just gonna be a side game. And I do not have a dice here. <laughs> um... Let's go one. Oh well. Alright, let's try and get them to burn the Nisei token at the very least. They got us. Ah, Psy Games. So this puts us in a very bad position. This is why the very slow setup is really, really bad. Um, so time to just hammer R&D then. I believe in us. Now, do they have swordsmen? That is the question. Uh, we'll still have to boost either way. We can get mongoose for now, or no, let's get fairy. And we can let's do this. So add one strength and break the sentries. Probably should have thrown that onto the Houdini style, actually.
So because it only takes the paid abilities as opposed to the additionals, you actually get around things like Trash and Fairy, uh, Mongoose only being useful once per once per run, or once per ice. Um, it also keeps the Houdini, because as you can see there, it's plus four strength for the remainder of the run. So, um, we can just get through here, paying two. Oh wait, we actually have to use Houdini itself here. And you still keep all of these icebreakers as well as singletons. So it's not bad. Hedgefund and Eli. Um, should probably try and see what else they have going on. Eli isn't a concern either because we can boost this to four and then just break. Get a future perfect. Um, I have no idea what they're going to go. Oh. <laughs> and let's... So we can either go for four credits on Archives or Sure Gamble. Or we can run HQ again. Either try and force some ice. <laughs> token or maybe get lucky. Uh, yeah, that'll do. We can get rid of the other one and continue this game. Now, people are going to point that out. I should have taken this, used it to trash the Caprice, and also refilled it. That is my bad. Still trying to get used to how multi-purpose the Netmarker is. And stealth in general, to be honest. So cards are left in our deck that are useful. We have two, three ghost runners. Um <laughs> couple of more Timurian. Apparently we don't want to run HQ. And now we have them a little bit panicked on R and D perhaps. So we could look at a swordsman here, in which case not great for us. Um, we would have to trash the fairy in that instance. Let's do our luck here. We've had pretty good luck so far. So we're going to boost Baffy Haka by four and then break barriers. Then break sentry for free. How good is that? DNA tracker. That's a little more problematic. But at least it'll cost them a lot of money. And let's run archives for four credits, I think. Do we need it? Well, I can't even use this interface. I think he's been a little bit screwy in the last few days. I'm actually on the developer version of it. Um, because we're trying to get the game last night and failing miserably. Oh, here we go. Game on. So we have the money, but we do have to win Psy Games many times. Four cards. Well, we just have to go for it, really. 
We really wish I had a dice here. Um, 13 credits. How are they feeling? They went zero last time. They've been kind of mixing it up a bit. Let's try zero again. Okay. Got a win. So we've got to go again, and we have to win this one. If Oh dear, and that's why Rumor Mill is uh, so good. <clears throat> well, let's at least force him to... Let's try... Let's try Rumor Mill. Yeah. They're not even going to give us the pleasure of trying. So unfortunately we were a bit slow to set up. That is one of the issues that I'm having so far. As I say, Stimhack might be a good include. Uh, this is the rest that we were looking at. Some things that would have helped dramatically. Uh, a bit more draw. Ghost Runner, some more money. Uh, would have been nice had Baba Yaga turned up on its own accord. But it wasn't to be. But I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching. And let me know if you're trying Baba Yaga itself. And what Breaker Suite you're going with. <laughs>